a short one. This is called Knowledge or Acceptance. I grew up in uh, Long Beach, California. And, uh, my father was in the Navy. And uh, a lot of the lessons I learned about life, I learned through these mixtapes used to leave uh, for him. Uh, so this is called Knowledge or Acceptance. He mixed the cries for freedom onto multicolored cassette tapes. He designed them to guide, influence, and shape. I learned to celebrate, embrace identity, honor ancestors, my boombox, my boombox, my boombox. My radio, my temple of noise brought the insight, brought the wisdom. I developed wings, I developed wings, I developed wings. Now I'll jump set. Fun poem, fun poem, short one. Um, I have one student uh, that pretty much wears headphones like all day. And um, when he's in class, he's mostly behind his computer. You know, he's doing his work, but at the same time, he's like got the music playing and doing his thing. Not very social. Um, this is called Pass the Headphones. I'm in a groove. I'm in a groove. I work until I finish the task. I write until the music stops. I jam the back of the classroom. I tap the keys. I minimize the screen. I hope the teacher doesn't check my browser's history. Pass the headphones. Uh, one student, um, really great basketball player, uh, was part of a generation of uh, ball players that were very, very competitive. Um, after those upperclassmen left, he was like the only one to kind of carry the torch. Um, so this poem is simply called Blues on the Basketball Court. The crew is gone and the ballers have left the building. They drop the trash talk, the grunts, the aggressive stares, and piled them by the door. They pivoted away from the many years of missed classes, incomplete assignments, and flashes of insights. Those that remain still play, still hustle for the ball, for the glory, for a chance to discover a wicked jump shot, swoosh. All right, one more. Um, this poem is called Food for the Soul. Press play and watch the gods do their dance. Watch them boogie for change, for resistance, for the deferred dreams hiding in the corners of their mouths. We are a tribe, we are a tribe, we are a tribe of dreamers, focused on the prize, focused on the race, happening beneath noon, tomorrow looks like us. A bright picture claims the night as our home. This is our way, this is our zone, we push skateboards, avoid the hate, celebrate the love, memorize sunlight visions that create patterns on our faces. Every day is music for the have-nots, fuel for the body, nutrition for the dream, food for the soul. Appreciate it, y'all. Right um, so it's called Walk a Mile in Her Shoes, a poem for all people for all time. There's nothing wrong with shaking the earth for a little freedom. Nothing wrong with saying she matters and they matter and that history should be overpowered and that democracy should be ruled by the people and that gender roles should be re-examined or destroyed. There's nothing wrong with climbing for a safer ideology, a safer creed, a paradise for people driven by liberation. There's nothing wrong with advocating for the broken, weak, and weary. Nothing wrong with putting on high heels and keeping up some dust kicking up some political unrest, putting miles between the paradigm shifters and the rest. Challenges and tests are lion's dens that lead to advancements. From Harlem to India, from Iowa to Mogadishu, justice is the language on our tongues. There's nothing wrong with saying peace with clenched fists, with strong backbones, with intelligent resolutions, with voices as tall as mountains in Central Asia. There's nothing wrong with our deeds resembling healed scars or good works after a long day. 